Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check the page load speed of your website. There's two reasons this is important. One is page load speed is a ranking factor in Google. So the faster your page loads, the better it is for your rankings. It's not a major ranking factor, but every little bit helps. And user experience goes up greatly. The, the positive user experience goes up when the page load speed goes up. So you want to make sure your site is loading as fast as possible, but first you have to have a baseline. So we can go to Google, we can type in page load speed test, and this will show a bunch that I like to use. I usually do two different ones to get two sets of data. For this demo, I'm just going to show you one of them, but what I do is I usually use the pingdom.com page load speed tester and the webpagetest.org tester. I use both of them and I see what results each of them brings. So all you do is you go to one of them, or both, whatever you prefer, you type in a domain name, this is the domain name of our demo site, click on test now, and in a few moments we'll have our test results. So at the very top we see the overall results that it gave us, and our page load time was 6.34 seconds, and that's a little slower than I like to see. Usually you want this to be under five seconds. Once you're over five, it's getting into problem territory. And anywhere below five is much better. If you can get it even faster than that, even better. So the faster you can get it, the better it is. So if we scroll down, we see what's called the waterfall and we see the things that are loading in sequence. So first was this piece right here. And it took this amount of time all the way out to here, total of 2.7 seconds just to do that first piece. And the next one took 1.85 seconds. And nothing else loaded until after this first one was done. So that's definitely hurting our page load speed. And what we're doing here is we're just waiting. As you can see, this when you hover over that waterfall bar, we get this set of data. So when this request is made, it's made at the very front after connect, we're waiting for 2.48 seconds for something to happen. And that's usually a result of our host. And hosts are not all created equal. So if you have a lower end host like Bluehost or HostGator, on average, they're gonna be slower than a higher end host like WP Engine. On a higher end host, this wait time is not eliminated, but it can be greatly reduced. And for the next component, we also have a lot of yellow again. We're waiting for 1.7 seconds, which is a long time to wait. And if we could fix those two things, which are fixed just by switching hosts, we could easily get this load time under five seconds. And then if you go through this whole way, on the left-hand side, you're going to see what's being loaded, and on the right, how long it's taking and what it's doing. And there's going to be some that you find that would be labeled in red. There aren't any in this case, but if they're labeled in red or colored in red over here, it means they were unable to load that. And often that's broken images, files that are being referenced but aren't there anymore. And so checking for that file is taking time to load your website. And if you go back up to the top, if you click on the Performance Insights tab, you then see your Performance Insights. And you can see where page load or where Pingdom thinks that you're doing well and where it could be improved. So leverage browser caching. 13 out of 100. Obviously we can improve that grade and click on the down arrow on the right to get more information about what it's talking about. And these are all, or a lot of these are images in the uploads folder that aren't cached. So including a caching plugin that has browser caching available can help with this. And if you go through the ones that you're doing poorly on or that your website's doing poorly on and click on the down arrow, you can get some information on how to fix them. And that's the fixing it is not the topic of this video. In fact, you couldn't fix this stuff in just one video because there's so many things that affect page load speed that it takes a whole series of videos. But going through a tool like this, you can quickly find what's working well and what's not working well. If you click on the page analysis tab, we see more information. So there was 58 successful connections and we didn't have any server errors and no connection errors, which is great. And it breaks down where we spend most of the load time. 
So most of it, in my case, was spent on the images. Part of that is that browser caching that we saw earlier. You may also be suffering from images that are overweight, meaning the file size is too big and you could easily reduce that file size by either saving the images as optimized before you upload them or using something like WP Smush to compress all the images. And you can go through each of these and try to glean information as to what is causing your page load speed to be slow if it is in fact slow. And you want to try to get this load time under five seconds. And one more thing to consider is when I check this page load speed just now earlier, it'll be a different page load speed if I check an hour from now. And that's just due to overall internet traffic. And even this, this test was in Amsterdam or connected through a server in Amsterdam. Next time we do the test, it might connect through a server somewhere else. And other page speed testers allow you to, to, do a, to pick where the server is that you connect through. The closer the server is to you, the faster the page load speed will be. And there's all kinds of factors like that that go into it. But I've seen wild swings in page load time from anywhere from five seconds to load a page all the way up to 12 for the exact same page, no changes. And there's a seven second difference in the page load speed just based on what's happening traffic wise on the website, what's happening traffic wise in the world and how far away the server is that I'm testing through. So this 6.34 seconds is not written in stone, but it's, it's a good baseline. And you can run this test three or four times over a couple days and then maybe average those load times and that'll be a more accurate load time for your site. Whether you do that or not, if you go through the waterfall performance insights and page analysis, you will see things that are causing the load problems for your website. So that's how we check the page load speed of our website and how we use that information to improve our website. Hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share it on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get more awesome videos just like this and check out wplearninglab.com where you write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.